All right, hey, what's up guys? Skywood here. Today I'm finally back. Um, it's been a while since I've done the last video, which, geez, I can't even remember what the hell it's on. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> anyway, but since then I have received an original Intel iMac. This is a, a late 2006 17 inch. It does have a Core 2 Duo processor, not the Core Duo processor that most of us are familiar with. But anyway, so basically, um, I received this from a friend of mine who actually needed a few parts for me, which I sold him an older video card and uh, two hard drives, which was actually an MSATA SSD and a solid state hard drive. So yeah, and in return, I received this 2006 iMac. Now I received this in with its keyboard um, and a computer, of course, and its uh, white power cables you see there. I did not get the mouse, however, I just took the mouse from my uh, iMac over there in the corner, which you can hardly see. Anyway, so now I received the computer, I upgraded it to Lion, 2 gigs of RAM and stuff. However, as I went to my friend's house over the weekend, for some reason, it has decided to be a little whiny bitch to me and started giving me this stupid kernel panic. Anyway, so basically as my uh, USB drive continues to just be a little bitch, I gotta now screw around with this. Oh, well, they removed one partition, that's nice. Thanks, Disk Utility, for not doing anything. Also, thanks Apple for stripping this down. It's bullshit. Anyway, so basically, what I am working on is I am working on using ML Post Factor since Mac Post Factor does not want to work. I'm going to be using this to install Mountain Lion on this machine, even though it's not supposed to run, because this technically only runs up to Lion. I'm going to get Mountain Lion on here. So, yeah, I'm going to be back once I actually get the USB drive ready. So, yeah, I'm also going to kind of show how to do this, not in specific. If you guys want to actually see it, there's a video that a uh, fellow YouTuber DOS Dude one makes on how to actually do the process and with a Mac post factor which the icon looks something like like this here so yeah but anyway so I'll be back once my USB drive is ready so yeah that's that super optimized lighting for my little LED lamp so guys I did just finish the uh, Mountain Lion post factor install I think that's what ML stands for basically I just finished that and I'm going to go on ahead and unmount the drive which always seems to take an eternity on HFS journal drives, so and I don't want to rip it out either. Oh, come on. Why do you have to take so long? Whatever. Okay, I'm actually about to cut the video here. I'll be back. Okay, of course, whereas I cut the video, it finally does finishes. Anyway, and actually, I found the SanDisk drive funny enough. It's a 32 gigabyte thumb drive, which you might say it on the bottom. Yep, 32 gigabyte. I found this sitting in a little drawer and everything goes out of the way in that. So basically, um, here we go, we have the drive. I'm gonna go on ahead and plug it in on the back of the iMac, of course, because Apple has to put the USB ports on the back. Now, this should work. Um, they did put this in the support list. And of course, since our original Lion install, for some reason, decided to freaking kernel panic like an idiot, I don't know. Anyway, now it's under EFI boot. I will boot to this, and please don't kernel panic. That's what I did last time with the uh, Mac Post Factor drives. Now, uh, DOS Dude one actually did a video on this. He said this takes a really long time to boot, so I'm gonna cut the video and wait till it does boot. So far, we don't have a kernel panic. That's a good sign. But yeah, like I said, I'll return once this is done booting. Wow, that booted under a minute. Well, I guess uh, DOS Dude one was installing this on a late 2006 MacBook Pro, not an iMac, so I'm not sure. That did not take very long at all. All right, so now, um, for people, depending on what they want to do, um, if you have stuff on your hard drive, like documents, pictures, and stuff, um, don't do the step. Um, well, kind of, I guess. I'm really just kind of doing this for my own good. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to erase the drive just because, as I said, my original install actually did a kernel panic. I don't want to have to like deal with this again. So yeah, come on. All right, so I'm gonna erase this. Now, like I said, if you have stuff on your hard drive, do not do this step. If you want to clean install, you can do that. If you don't want to do that, then just simply go through your continue process here. Continue, see you want to install OS 10, and then just install this. Now, once this is done, I'm gonna to have to reboot into the installer because this won't work. This is just a normal mountain lion install. However, it's just you have to uh, install this, and then when you boot back into the uh, partition, then where's my mouse cursor? You're going to want to go to ML Post back to the utility here. So yeah. Anyway, I'll resume the video once I have rebooted into uh, the uh, recover the uh, USB installer. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. We are patching system components. Kidding. <laughs> All right. So as you guys can see, I am indeed in the recovery partition. Gosh, this mouse pointer literally moves slower than my grandma. Okay, so oh, we are moving along, right? Maybe. 
Yes, we are. Okay, I can still move the window. Anyway, so basically I am patching this. So you gotta actually reboot into the installer drive for anyone who's wondering. So you have to hold down the option key and go to EFI boot again to do this or else the uh, install will not uh, boot up. And also kind of show how to actually um, patch the, uh, the, to get the 10.8.5 update properly. I'll show you guys how to do that. So yeah, I'll be back once it has rebooted. And actually, hold on, my lamp is not on. I am sorry. I am an idiot. Anyway, so setting up permissions and stuff, so it's setting up all the stuff nice. Alright, so as I said, I'll resume the video once this is done, so yeah. Alright, there you go. I think it might be done. I'll be back once it's booted up to a desktop. Yes. Awesome. We are booting. We have Mountain Lion on an unsupported Mac, hopefully. And I'll do the 10.8.5 update, as I said. Awesome. There we go. Let me use the world's most insensitive mouse, which always seems to be this. All right, and I'll go on ahead and connect to our network. Actually, that's a complicated password. I'll be back once I'm at a desktop. Awesome. And perfect. Caught that at the right time. There we go. Now, let me go on ahead and actually turn on my lamp again. I don't know if it's really necessary, but awesome. That is awesome. There you go. So you guys can see Messages app. There's the notification center. And this does have full graphics acceleration. Nothing's uh, wrong, so smack. There you go, 10.8.4, more info. And this is only running on two gigs of RAM, so it's not necessarily the fastest, but there you go. That is awesome. Now I'm gonna go on ahead and do the 10.8.5 update. I'll link you guys to the original video on how to actually install this using this method. However, I'd recommend Mac Post Factor if possible because that is a much simpler method. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the 10.8.5 update and that should be finished for this guy. But yeah, I'll resume the video once that is installed. All right guys, so it is actually the next day. As you can see, it is a nice, beautiful, bright day out. Um, basically, what happened is I ran the 10.8.5 update and I ran the ML post factor patches. And once it will show it, it will not boot. It's giving me the little no symbol saying that it won't boot. However, the way I thought I could fix this is if I got a Mac post factor drive, which I put on this thumb drive. It once again, even on a installer that did work via ML post factor, it just kernel panicked again. So I'm not too sure what's happening there. However, what I went on ahead and did is I'm just recreating the drive. So I'll resume the video once that's done and I'll try running the patches again, um, seeing if that will fix it. Maybe it's just the first time the patches didn't do it, didn't install properly or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, I'll resume the video once the uh, drive is created. All right guys, I am back as you can see here. I have the Mac Post Factor or ML Post Factor drive finished even though, wait, no, it's not supposed to be MCPF, it's supposed to be ML Post Factor. This might have messed up. I don't know. Depends. Once it shows a little spinny wheel right about here, then I'll know I'm good. I think it would have kernel panic by now, so this must be an ML Post Factor drive. It just didn't override it. Or the name of it, at least. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's wait. And we wait. And we wait. No, oh, well, I'll cut off the camera here. I'm just going to show it now. All right, so my camera's awfully out of focus. Because my camera is awfully out of focus for some reason. Geez, sorry about that. There we go. We're going to do to the utilities now. I wouldn't use Mac Post Factors, I said, but it just literally won't be panic. ML Post Factor. Continue, continue. Okay, I'm back to the other way. Back to continue. Oh. Okay, it's technically 10.8.4, all right, so I'm gonna go on ahead and run these patches, which that's how you do it. You just go to the little utilities tab up here. You'll see ML Post Factor, you go through here, and then do it according to your original install, even if after the 10.8.5 update, according to the video. So yeah, I'll resume once I hopefully boot back into an OS. If not, I'll just have to reinstall. Here we go, I am back to this. It is now booting from the hard drive, as you can hear. Or maybe here at least, it is uh, indeed Bring the hard drive though, you can unplug the USB drive, as you can see. So yeah, but anyway, um, I'll resume the video once I'm at the desktop. I just want to show you guys it is working again, and uh, the patches did not fix the original install. I think I already mentioned that. So yeah, but anyway, I'll resume the video once I'm at a desktop, or maybe I'll be at a setup here. Hmm. I don't know. Are we at a setup? Well, I have a little mouse cursor up here, so that's pretty nice. Or are we at a setup? Come on. Come on, how well? I think we're at a setup. Anyway, I'll pause the video here. All right, well, there you go. Setup is completed, and it should be at a desktop momentarily. There you go. So, yay, I'm back at the desktop now. Um, 
start a little slow. I will put in uh, four gigs of RAM to this guy, but I do not think it will fully use all that. Um, anyway, there's the dock now. Awesome. And as you guys can see here, full hardware acceleration. I'm actually going to go on ahead and just put downloads into the trash. So here we go. Um, empty trash. Yes, I want empty trash. Okay, so as you can see, um, the animations are pretty smooth. Here's the launch pad. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and go to Atlas Mac. More info. And as we can see here, we indeed have a 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM, Radeon X 1600, 128 meg. There's a serial number, I don't care if y'all have that. OS 10.8.4, I will try the 10.8.5 update once again, but for now that's that. I'll really report back, like in a, at the end segment, I'll just report if this actually worked. If not, it's just going to be a 10.8.4 machine, which isn't terrible. It's better than 10.7.5. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to actually go on ahead and uh, start running updates, except the ones that require restarts. So yeah, I'll resume the video then. Yes. It's beautiful. It isn't booting from the hard drive right now. I just got the 1085 update. I did the patches. It worked this time. Last time didn't work for some reason. Yes, I really hope this fixed it. So that would be awesome. But anyway, I'll be back once it's at a desktop. As I'm back, it's actually been a little while afterwards, and as you can see, I'm indeed at the desktop. Um, I went on ahead and I am just gonna show you guys the spec sheet once again. I don't know if y'all got to see this earlier on, but yeah, that's that. Um, as you can see, everything's working fine. I have the latest version of iTunes. I even got a version of Pages. And yeah, that's that. Um, Mission Control works fine. Launchpad works fine. Um, now, the App Store still does have an update. I did try installing the security update on here, and it did not install. Now, to help a little bit, um, ML Post Factor is what I used here. Hopefully, Mac Post Factor works with your computer because it's much easier than this. However, my computer was just, however, this iMac was just being a whiny little bitch and didn't want to use a Mac Post Factor, which, as mentioned, here's my Mac Pro over here, by the way. Um, this is Mac Post Factor here, and this down here is a uh, ML Post Factor. So, those are the differences between the two. Now, Mac Post Factor will also do a wider variety of OSs. So, it'll go from Mountain Lion up to El Capitan. Sierra is a little different. It actually drops supports for some of the El Capitan machines, such as this MacBook Pro here, but yeah. Anyway, um, so that's that. Um, that's finished for now, I guess, really. Um, okay, my exposure is a little strange. Whatever. All right, so yeah, that's that. That is the late 2006 iMac. Now, oh, okay, I see my Safari window isn't open on my Mac Pro. I will be getting uh, four gigs of RAM for this guy, even though typically, or even though Activity Monitor will only use three gigabytes, I'm going to get a four gigabyte kit, which is two, two gigabyte sticks. And the reason for this is because um, this will actually do a dual channel 3 gigabytes instead of a 2 gigabyte and 1 gigabyte 3 gigabytes, which dual channel runs better than single channel. So, for anyone who's wondering about that. But yeah, and then I did go ahead and install a few applications like Max Fan Control and uh, Memory Clean too. That's kind of a cool little application since Pseudo Purge does not want to work on here because of the kernel patches. But yeah. Anyway, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will have the RAM upgrade video out this week and. For now, that's really all I have in plans for videos. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.